We're going to look at the poem, and it's one of the ones I use for the critical reading and writing courses at level 5 and level 6. And we'll look at how the use of particular words helps to create a, a certain mood and a certain tone within this poem. Okay, the poem is City Autumn by Joseph Moncure March. The air breathes frost. A thin wind beats old dust and papers down grey streets and blows brown leaves with curled up edges at frightened sparrows on window ledges. A snowflake falls like an errant feather, a vagabond draws his cloak together, and an old man totters past with a cane, wondering if he'll see spring again. The first thing that jumps out to me is this impression of extreme cold. You have this opening line, the air breathes frost. So this idea that, that the air, a non-living thing, is personified and made to seem alive as if it is showering this, uh, this stream of, of frozen vapour right in our faces. We can also look at what kind of colours um, they used in this poem too. So we've got grey streets and brown leaves. And no other colours really, so this all helps to create this impression of quite a drab, dreary, miserable day, uh, right at the end of autumn, beginning of winter. Then we've got this line, a snowflake falls like an errant feather. And we can imagine the movement of this single flake of snow falling like a feather. So not falling straight down, but we can imagine it kind of following a path a bit like this. And the word errant is key there. So errant means making a wandering journey. Okay, so the idea that this, this snowflake doesn't have a straight path. I think that word errant is picked up in the next line. If we look at who's in this poem, which people are in this scene, it seems quite empty, but there are two people there. And one of them's a vagabond. So a vagabond is a homeless person. And the homeless person seems to me a little bit like the snowflake. He's also somebody that would make a wandering journey because he hasn't got anywhere to go. He's also lonely, like the single flake, snowflake. He's on his own. Uh, he's also cold. Um, so the poet makes the, the connection between uh, the single snowflake and the lonely people who are suffering from, from the cold in this scene. And that's really wound up with the final line, this image of the old man. And the old man, how does he move? He totters. So you can imagine him moving very slowly with a very imperfect balance. The only thought in his mind is whether he's going to survive the cold winter. He wonders if he'll see spring again. Um, if you'd like to find out more about this poem and um, poetic techniques in general. Uh, you can do so in the critical reading and writing courses. Also the stellar literature programs.